rip, 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 rip it up. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Crash Flow. And you know, one of the main reasons I started Crash Flow is because I, you know, I want to reach more people that want to skate that don't know how to enter into skating. Because you know, I've traveled the whole world, and one thing that I always get when I travel, I meet people and they're interested in skating. They're like, "Oh, I used to skate. Yeah, I used to skate. Oh, I try to skate." I'm always like, "Well, what happened between used to and skate?" Because you know. It's like my dream. I always want people to be able to, you know, enjoy skating or get the feeling of skating like their first ollie or their first kickflip because only people that have done those tricks know that it's one of the greatest feelings you can get. And, yeah, I just wish more people would commit to skating and want to, and want to skate. I'm always wondering, like, what happened? And most people just say, there's a million reasons, and there's a million reasons why people stop skating. But almost anybody you meet on the street, they say, oh, I used to skate. And I'm always like, are you sure you even skated? So today, I'm going to go through about 10 reasons, the main 10 reasons I think why people stop skating. And uh, I'm over here. I got a special guest. Got my Ma Dukes today. She's over here painting. We're, up, we're out in the woods. Say hi, Ma. Hi. <laughs> what are you painting there? Uh, it's a surrealistic drawing that I did. Oh, uh, yeah? Yep. It's very layered and has a lot of narratives in it. Okay. How long have you been painting for? Oh, uh, 35 years. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yes. And uh, I bet you love to paint, huh? Love to paint. More than anything. More than anything. Even if it comes out crummy. And you never stopped? Never stopped. Why not? Um, it was a passion. <laughs> passion. Yeah. There you go. I love to skate. She loves to paint. But uh, I was gonna, we were, I was gonna talk today, Ma. I was gonna we're tell the people why people stop skating. Okay. Oh, I think. You want to guess the first one? You want to guess any? Me? Yeah. It's too hard. <laughs> you could do it. No, it hurts. <laughs> the the injuries. Yeah. Well, that's basically the main thing. I think. Yeah. The first slam. I say that's the number yeah. one reason. People try to discourage them that they'll never be successful or they'll never get anywhere with it. Yeah. I mean, I think millions of people, they buy a skateboard and then they, they start skating and they take that first slam and that's it. And that's, that's the main part when I was talking about people saying I used to skate. You just take one fall and they just, oh, this isn't for me. But, you know, I even bet like that to me, it's like you never really skated anyways. So, I mean, and that's, and that's what I wish I could reach people more with crash flow is to get people past that first fall, you know? So that's why I concentrate on tuck and rolls and learn how to fall before you start skating. But I would say, what's the next biggest reason? Any, you want to guess? Me? Yeah. Um, someone discouraged them. Pretty close. I was going to say similar friends. Oh. Either, either you don't have any friends that skate anymore they stopped or yeah they might discourage you and make fun of you but that's that's a good one to add too but i would say i was going to say friends just because your friends stop skating you stop skating and that's another one where it's like well did you really ever skate anyways because skateboarding is something that you really really have to love to do you know if you want to do it um but that's interesting too i think a lot of other kids do get discouraged when they get let down by their peers or they may get made fun of but I, I don't know. I had some pretty bad stories. Kids would make fun of me. Remember I get beat up down in uh, Lexington? Yeah. Come back with wedgies. and <laughs> I got wedgied when I was a kid. They used to push me in the trash can. I don't know. But that uh, was the skate kids. That's what you had to do. I used to make bizarre costumes in high school. Yeah. And um, people thought I was very weird. <laughs> yeah. But now, you look at what I made, they're like... Um, in movies, costumes, and they were very outrageous then, oh. like in the 70s. But now everyone's trying to out wear or out, you know, costume the next person. <laughs> yeah. So we'll get back to some more. What, are we, what else we got here? Oh, smoking weed. Ooh. It's like kids just take a, a quick little hit of weed for the first time and they like forget about their skateboard. I've seen it a million times. I grew up with a, with a sick sick ripper crew little rippers called the grimlets you know we were downtown cambridge with started concepts when it was just a shoe store in the back of the tannery 
We had a sick crew, and some of the guys fell off. Some guys, you know, they just smoked some weed, and they forgot about their skateboard. So smoking weed, another one, another big one is, you want to take any more guesses? Um, parents. We'll get there. That's oh, a good that's guess, though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, teachers. No, that is a good one. Actually, we could go to that one. Parents and teachers. You don't have good parents. I'm lucky. I had a good mom. I had a good dad. They drove me to skate skate parks. So that's that's a tough one. A if your parents, of, I know yeah. my friend in Jamaica, you know, her parents don't support her, and it's tough, you know? So that's a big one. A lot of kids stop skating because of that. I don't blame them. That's a really hard one. At the time, a lot of teachers try, told me I should make you stop skateboarding. Yeah. Yeah. So they said they didn't approve and that I should get you interested in something else. Yeah. Well, I didn't fucking listen to them, did I? <laughs> no. Well, I was going to say girlfriend. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, mom. <laughs> Guys get a girlfriend and they're just like, oh, I got a girlfriend now. What do I need a skateboard for? And that just, t that to me says that you were probably just skating because you wanted to be cool or some something... You know, may, maybe un unconsciously using skating for those reasons. So I've seen that happen all the time, you know. Um, one thing that I think is interesting, like, a lot of kids don't know how to skate by themselves or even understand that's a thing. Because, man, I was so obsessed with skating, I took any chance. I love skating with my friends, period. But I love skating by myself, too. I don't know, and I still kind of do. I ended up skating more by myself a lot these days as well. Um, but I think if you don't know how to skate by yourself, you might have a hard time continuing skating as you get older. You know, you gotta, uh, it's just a key thing, you know, I mean, remember, what would I, I would go out at night by myself all the time and you, you wouldn't let me out and I'd go out anyways, right? Um, you, you would, uh, we made a box. And yeah, I remember that. You, after so long, you could go out at night if you stayed in the area that we lived in and you just work on tricks on the box mm. yeah i mean i kind of grew to love to skate by myself and i know i grew up with pj ladd you know and he was one of the best skaters i ever met in my life and he always skated by himself that's really how he progressed skating by yourself goes far especially if you want to go pro and all that um what else what else or some people just don't skate because they think there's nothing to skate around and that's another one that goes back to pj pj had nothing man he was, he was a flat ground king. You can go out and skate flat any time of the day. There's just got to be flat ground where anybody lives. That's another thing. Um, and then, yeah, I was going to say parents and teachers, but she brought that one up. Um, let's see. What do we got? First real injury. And I'm talking, like, bad injuries because we all, you know, they come. And I think that's that's a sad one because if you're a skater and you love to skate and then you really get hurt and stop skating, it's another big reason why people stop. That, you know, I guess I can't blame you. I understand. But I think what I talk about too is going out and seeking good doctors. I think that's key and that kids need to do that. And me personally, I don't I don't trust, you know, the, the regular doctors, that 9 to 5 doctors. I go out and seek seek other ones um so that's a big part but i understand that people feel like they can't skate after after serious injuries you know and i think another one i wanted to bring up was if they don't get sponsored you know so if you skate to get sponsored it's a little crazy anyways because skating real skating's got nothing to do with that um and like i keep going back to, to skateboarding is just it's just really hard it's really hard to get good. It's really hard to do tricks. It's really hard to get sponsored. It's just a hard thing to do. So once again, you got to really, really love it. And I think that's really important. Um, was there any times I was going to give, give up? Remember the time I scraped my whole face? I scraped my whole face off once. I had stitches in my head. Was I going to stop then? Or was it? No. <laughs> there was no stop with me. I don't know. No. I'm still just addicted to it. The only thing you got discouraged at was... Uh, basketball you loved basketball and you realized um, you might not be ever able to play mm. but um, one of the things you were saying is skating by yourself I think some artists give up 
because they don't like the isolation. And when you're an artist, you have to be in your studio a lot and spend a lot of time alone. Mm. So you kind of have to balance that with your social group. But you are alone a lot. Yeah. That's, again, that's interesting. That's, there you go, from a real artist. Right there. I like, like being alone. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are, are loners, you know? Yeah. And the last reason the rain's coming, so I don't know if you guys can hear me as good. It's starting to rain out here in the woods. But one of the last things I thought about was if it all of a sudden became uncool. Because yeah. skating is really cool for a lot of people. I think people think skating's cool. But, you know, like I said, your friends switch up, and then all of a sudden people make fun of you and think it's uncool. A lot of people stop skating. They just get into other, other trends, and they look at it like a trend. But, you know, to go back to what I was saying is that Skating's really hard. You really have to love it. You know, it's not something simple. It's not something you can learn in a day. Um, you got to be dedicated. So, I don't know. Those are the those are the, some of the reasons that I came up with that people stop skating, which aren't real reasons. I think a lot of people, if they're artists or doing something creative or skating, stop doing it. It's because they just didn't really want to the whole time. A lot of the time, some of those reasons are valid that I gave, and we brought up a lot. But some of them, I think kids look over. And they start telling themselves, like, oh, I can't do this anymore because of this or that. Or, you know, maybe even some people, they're not making money from skating. I understand they have to get a job. That's another one. That's hard. But I think I know a lot of people that continue to work, continue to strive through their life, no matter how hard it gets, and skate and do art and do creative things. So I just encourage people to keep doing that. So that's about it, Mom. You want to okay. say anything? Um, it, you're, you always get better. You can be my age and I can get better. I can be painting for 30 years and I know I'm always going to get better if I stick to it. Boom. There you go, guys. All right. Bless you.